Well, hello everybody. Once again, I hit the button and uh, went live early. So hello everyone. It's Stacy with Art Journal Life. Today we're going to be talking about artist trading cards. So I'm going to try to make sure that I stay. So I have this set up here. <laughs> if I told you where I was, you would laugh. I am in my bathroom. Yes, I am. Uh, and here's the thing. Sometimes we have to do videos wherever we can, right? So this is a very old book that I have. Uh, it's a soft cover book. Uh, let's see. How old is it? Well, tell me somewhere. Uh, 2003. So 21 years old. It's pretty old. Uh, so this is about artists trading cards. And a lot of artists make these, collect them, swap them. Uh, they have books full of them or boxes full of them. And it's kind of a fun thing to do. I have made them before, but I've never made them here on the channel. So we're going to talk about that today. And we're going to work on that here today. Um, if you're just joining us. So we're going to do some artist trading cards, but... First, I'm going to show you this magazine or book. I think it's a book. Yeah, it's not a magazine. So this just gives us some really cool ideas. Like I love this one. Um, hi, Donna. Uh, and I really love that heart one. So I'm standing above this bent over. So let's see how much of the book I think... So here's somebody's collection of cards. I don't want to knock stuff over, so I'm going to try hard not to. Here's some, gives you a little history on this page, but here's some pictures of what artist trading cards look like. And basically it's a multimedia, you know, like mixed media um, set of cards. I'm hoping that you can't hear too much of the construction going on around my house. So it starts off with telling you about intuitive watercolor, about using baby wipes. So it's ha a basic how-to on how to make artist trading cards. Now, um, they use paper towels on this one. It's kind of just an eclectic um, leafing pen resist, which I have no idea what that is, but I'm going to find out. Uh, inky layers, stencils. So it's just a basic look at some trading cards that people have made. It's no different than doing pages. They're just smaller. Let's see if I can find some good cards. That was my glue stick. Sorry. So I was just hoping to find some pictures that you would enjoy looking at for a minute. But it's no different than anything else we do on this channel. And it's kind of just fun. They talk about transfers and using tissue paper. Um, so the thing about these is I tend to make them a bunch of them all together. And I also, can I say, just as if I was making this on my pages, I love when things hang over the edge. So I'd be very likely to do something like that. Let's see. This is cool. Can you see this one? This might be off the page. I don't want to push because I'm going to end up with things on my floor. And I thought I would just give you like a quick look. So the, I think these are very cool. So that's what we're going to work on today. So I have some artist trading cards here. So these are, of course, I didn't bring the package, two and a half by three and a half in size. This is, so it's a small size. I put the tape here so I could make sure that we were in camera. So I might only be able to work on two at a time to really get it in camera. So I'm just going to show you some quick down and dirty, as I like to call it, um, ideas for making cards. So let's start. If you wanted a background, 
you could use these archival inks. I have these little inks that I don't use very much. Uh, they're all, all archival, so they are permanent. And this is how they come out on your paper. And I love that. So I'm going to do another one. I'm going to use this picked raspberry. The other one was fossilized amber. And all I'm doing is dragging this. And this will stay permanently because it's archival ink and that's what it does. So these are some things that I brought to use. Uh, I also have So I'm going to put these up here. I also have some gelatos and my gelatos, I don't know what happened to them. I don't use these gelatos and I have to say that I am not well versed in how they might behave. I know that they're spreadable. And I'm hoping that you can see me here. So the table situation is a little, a little difficult. But let's see. I'm going to wet my brush. I brought a brush with me. And I'm going to show you. These are water soluble. And then they dry. So all I'm doing is getting some kind of a background back here. Anyways, I am not real experienced with these gelatos, so um, I don't know, maybe somebody will know more than me about these. But mine melted and separated a little bit. Again, it was hot in my office. It's typically not air conditioned, um, so there's that. So let's get started with these. So what I'm going to do is let these dry up here. And I'm not too concerned about this curling here. It's not really that much of a concern. And I did bring, if you have questions, I have my chat up so I'm able to answer your questions and what have you. So I brought a bunch of scraps with me. I bought, brought some Uhu glue stick because it's quick and easy. So I have the insides of envelopes here and I saw one this morning that I thought was cool. So this one. So I'm going to take a piece of this or maybe I'm going to take several pieces of this. So I try to make them um, together. So they, there might be a small theme, let's say, right? They're small. So you know, you don't need big pieces to make an impact. I also have some washi tape here. And maybe I'll save that one for this one. I have this piece of an envelope, which I thought was super cute for whatever reason. And I guess I like the checks. So maybe I would do something like that. And then I have these various pieces of scrap paper, you know, like maybe you need more than one of these. I'm dropping things on the floor and I'm looking to see if there's questions. And they don't all have to be exactly alike. So, okay. I'm going to just put these off to the side here. And I'm going to work on gluing some things down. So maybe down there. So when I realized I couldn't be in my office because it's so loud in here, I was kind of like, oh no, <laughs> what's going to happen here? I don't know. So we're just going to roll with it. But I'm tucked away in a far corner here. That's why I did it this way. So 
I also brought wet glue, but I was trying not to use any wet glue. I'm sure that nailing gun is loud, but I apologize if it is. And I'm going to stick this down here in this corner. Then I'm going to stick this over here. Now, the thing I love about the, you know, artist trading cards is, you know, mixed media, right? Layers and layers and layers. You can add paint layers on top of this. You can add gesso. I really love the way, like, I got this geometric look out of uh, using those small archival inks. So that makes me sort of happy. And I'm still going to wait for those to dry a little bit more. So we'll keep working on this. So the other thing I brought was I brought a tea tag. I don't know what I might do with that. I brought this dot, sort of dot paper. I don't know if I'll do anything with that, but let's see. This is a sticker actually. This one, if I want to use it. I also have this stamp. So there's a butterfly theme. Oh, I have this also, which is a stamp. I mean a sticker. Actually, let's put this on. So I have no idea. This was a gift in the gift um, package that I got from some lovely person. <laughs> I have no idea who. <laughs> But it was a cool gift package. Okay, so there's that butterfly. Um, so there's that. I have some other things down here that I could use to glue on. And actually, I have this, which is a card that I stamped out. And I had this idea that I could use... this to draw circles I kind of like that maybe I want to add a star I should have done a different color huh but I didn't so there could be a theme these are water soluble if I put water to this it's going to run uh, but I could make a theme like that, something like that, if I wanted to. Um, I feel like I want to anchor those with some kind of paint turly thing. <laughs> so maybe I want to scribble on there. Oh, the noise isn't that bad, Donna. Thank you. So maybe I want to add a little color to this right here. You know, just think it outside the box, right? Um, and maybe this. Maybe we stain this with a little color. Okay. Again, this is very much like um, doing any um, mixed media kind of work. I mean, that's exactly what we're doing here. So I'm in my box here because I knew that I had some words that maybe I want to use at some point. Maybe not right away, but they could be helpful. And then I have some other Maybe focal points 
Here I have some cutouts that we could glue on. Some are flowers. These are probably too big. And some animals. Let's see what I can find in here. Oh, this is a little chickadee. Let's see what I've got. Oh, this was a fish. I liked that. I cut that out already. Here's a baby camel, which I thought was adorable. Oh, and here's another butterfly. I have a butterfly theme apparently happening. This cool plant. And a fish. I think the fish goes like this, but I'm not sure, so. Okay. Not thrilled with that. However, I love this. I love this. So I might add this. Let's decide, do I want it on that? Now they don't have to be themed. They don't all have to look alike. I think I like it on this color actually. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, yada, yada, yada. So I can glue it on and then cut out the back or I could leave it hanging off or whatever. So I think let's glue this one on here. I'm going to hope that, uh, now I don't have to be finished with these all in one sitting. It could be you work over a few days. And if you don't like this showing, you can, you know, take your pencil and or a black pen or something and outline it. So there's that one. This says there is pleasure in the pathless woods. Now I chose this because if I do it this way, you won't be able to read it, but I thought it would be a cool tag to stick a tag on here or anywhere. We'll do that. I kind of like it. Okay. Now I like to start with some backgrounds because, you know, color on the background because I find that quite helpful in getting me out of my head and worrying about what goes next on the paper. So I don't I didn't bring my scissors down here with me, so I'm going to leave this to dry. I'm going to think about this one because I kind of liked. No, not that one. Not that one. We could kind of do that. I like the contrast of this, I think. Now again, we can add more, we can take away some, we can, I mean, there's any number of um, things you can do with all this, right? I like my things super thick, like textured. I love when there's a lot on the page. Some people don't like that so much. So I can do this and then I can think about other things to add. So now I've got the start of two cards. I, I wouldn't say I'm finished with both of the cards, but I, I don't mind them. Uh, we could think about some washi tape. So I'm gonna take a little piece of washi tape off here. 
Now you could do just a whole piece of washi tape or you could just pick a corner and you could fold it over. You know, something like that. Washi tape is art also. So that's what I love about something like that. Ooh. Okay, so maybe I'm gonna start here. Hi, Mom. I see you. So I am going to maybe go this way because I like the torn edge. Now, if I'm just gonna check to make sure if I have my scissors in my bag, but I took them out earlier, so I don't. So even though this isn't perfect, I'm gonna peel the stick. It's a sticker, it's got a sticky backing, but it's certainly hard to peel them. There we go. Now, I would have cut out the antennae. But there's another one. So now, I don't have a garbage next to me and I really need one for these papers, but we'll put it up here. I'll put that back in there. So now, you know, I mean, not perfect, but I like it. Let's see what else. So here's four of them. I'm going to kind of clean up these. And I'm wishing that I had other paints with me, but I don't. but I have pens, so I might get some of my pens out and we might embellish that way. So, oh, I love my bright Poscas. I have white Posca, maybe that. Let's see what we can do here. So, this, where I don't like the, actually, I can do this. Add little embellishments. Hmm. Maybe I ruined it, but maybe we smudge some paint around. I'm not afraid of the smudge. I'm not afraid of the smudge. I need to smudge some orange though. Oh, I like that. And maybe we put some orange dots. I like to make these things that aren't mine more like mine by adding, you know, colors or painting over top of them or something. This is my favorite thing to do. So now I'm going to take that yellow. I'm going to add some of this neon yellow to it. And again, it starts making it look more like it isn't somebody else's art, which by the way, I just really dig. Okay, I don't hate that. 
Uh, now I have I have this uh, Lyra stick. It's a nine B's. It so I might try to create this little bit of a shadow around this butterfly in here. And when I hit it with some water, it's going to smear, right? It's going to... run. Uh, it's water soluble. So that's kind of what I'm looking for. Now, if you had a cloth with you and you didn't care for this too much, you could wipe some of it up. Like this looks a little... A little too smudgy in here but that's all right maybe I bring it around here a little bit and just create like a little bit of a shadow makes it pop a little more off the page I suppose Maybe I do this. Oh, that's really dark. But again, you can you know, just wipe it up with your paper towel and leave it like that. Um, I feel like I want something some other thing. So, what do I have? A piece of washi tape. No, I don't like that. So if I had something little in my bag, I would add that. But I don't think I do. I'm looking. Oh, maybe. Okay, so maybe a word there. I want like something smaller. Maybe that. I like that. Dreamed of them. So I'm just going over here to put on my scrap paper a little glue. And then this. And that's one artist trading card. Okay. And then I would continue doing, working on these until I was thoroughly happy with what I had here. So to be continued, I finished this one. I'm kind of happy with this. I might add a little more embellishment to it, something up here or something over here, but I like this one a lot and I love those bright colors. So I'm all about it. Okay, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that you enjoyed this. Have you ever made artist trading cards? Would you ever make them? I mean, I love making them and I love swapping them. So I've never really joined a swap before, but it would be fun to do. Um, and they're kind of cool to make. Again, I love the mixed media part of it. So of course, you know, um, but these are my ideas for artist trading cards and there's so many things we could do and collect and we can use them as inspiration, ideas, anything. So I thought that I would jelly print on some of my cards. So I plan on doing that. Um, there's a whole bunch of things. Okay. Let me know in the comments, would you make artist trading cards? Have you done it before? And do you like them? All right, everybody, have a great day. I will see you tomorrow for another three o'clock live. And I hope you guys all have a great day. Thank you.